The Bernese Mountain Dog is a very popular breed for families across the world due to their well-renowned, loving and gentle nature. In today's video, we will be looking more specifically into the Bernese Mountain Dog as a breed to see whether this big and loving dog is known to bark a lot. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, then my name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirK9Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bernese Mountain Dog, then how to become high level canine leaders who can raise perfect burner companions. So if you're a lifelong Bernese Mountain Dog lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Bernese Mountain Dog video. Let's jump right into today's video and find out whether or not the stunning and impressive Bernese Mountain Dog barks a lot. The Bernese Mountain Dog is believed to have been developed through breeding between farm dogs from the Swiss Alps and the Molossa or Mastiff type dogs, which the Romans brought with them when they invaded the Alps in the first century. It's very likely that the burner has been working on Swiss farms for more than 2,000 years, pulling carts, accompanying livestock, standing watch and providing loyal companionship with their owners. By 1888, only a small amount of the Swiss population worked in farming and so the need for this type of dog was much less. However, in 1899, the Swiss became very interested in preserving the native dog breeds of the country and so the Bernese mountain dogs increased again in popularity. Being first bred to stand watch, as well as many of the other roles, means that the Bernese Mountain Dog is naturally very alert. And although they are not known to be excessive barkers, they will tend to alert you if there is an unfamiliar person at the door, or something that they generally feel uneasy about. Burners only typically bark for good reason, and are not known to bark just for the sake of it. As a breed, they are known to not be dogs that excessively bark, especially if they have been properly trained and very well socialised from an early age. With plenty of consistent training and socialisation from puppyhood continued throughout their lives, the Bernese Mountain Dog can be a very well-rounded and confident dog who will rarely bark unless they feel they need to alert you. It's very much in their nature to want to have a job to do and they can easily get bored so it's a good idea to give your burner a role or to provide them with sufficient entertainment in playtime and toys. Without having a job to do and becoming bored like a lot of breeds they may develop unwanted behaviours which could include barking excessively. They may take up being your home's watchdog and you can train them to be one as well. They're very sensible when going about their duties. As I mentioned earlier, they will typically only bark for good reason. And with proper training, you can have a great watchdog. Hey guys, a really quick message and I just wanted to let you know because we get a lot of questions about you wanting to see more videos of me and the team training dogs, real life sessions, our consultation work, puppy training through to behaviour modification and we have a whole dedicated channel for that called Fenrir Canine Training. There'll be a link in the description box below and if you want to come and follow our journey of working hands on with dogs and watching live sessions of how we go from teaching basic stuff with puppies all the way through to extreme behaviour modification modification that's over on the Fenrir canine training channel. I'm sure you'll love it and I can't wait to see you over there as well. In the right hands this sizeable dog is an easy breed to train due to their high intelligence and eagerness to please their human companions. Bernese mountain dogs are large and athletic dogs who require at least two hours of exercise every day which should be a combination of walks, off lead runs, playtime and also mental stimulating activities. As this breed is highly intelligent, it needs to be kept busy mentally as well as physically to stay happy. They have a large amount of energy and it needs to be released to prevent them from developing any bad habits or unwanted destructive behaviours. They're a very loving dog and companionship is important to them, so spending time with your burner on walks and playing games is a great way to keep them happy and to prevent boredom. The fact that they are easy to train makes them very well suited to different canine competitions, including obedience, tracking, herding and carting. These qualities and abilities of the burner can make for lots of fun playtime. Of course, you need to be familiar with the breed and its behaviours as their high intelligence can also mean that they're quick to learn bad habits or unwanted behaviours, so you would need to be prepared to spend time and effort correcting your dog in a calm and consistent manner. 
With high intelligence, this breed can interpret situations well and adapt to whatever it is that they experience. Socialisation from an early age helps this massively. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a very loving dog with a gentle, careful nature. This is a massive positive about the breed as they can make amazing family pets and companions and they're especially good with children of all ages. This is a quality that they are well renowned for and commonly become a close companion to the children in the family. The Burner is widely known for its kind, sweet and rather docile nature. Obviously, as with all dog breeds, you must socialise and train your pup properly from a young age in order to have a well-balanced dog that gets along with all. Socialisation is key if you're bringing your dog into a relatively busy household where there's a lot of new people coming round or other animals. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and if so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you're new here to make sure that you subscribe. We have got three dedicated Bernese Mountain Dog videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show.